Welcome to BCA Sports. I'm Jay Miller, filling in temporarily for Mad Dog Matt Nelson. We are at the Canton Ice House for the MIAA Tournament Division One South Sectional Preliminary Round between your Brockton Boxers and the Framingham Flyers. It's a prelim game, meaning the winner has the good fortune of facing off against Wellesley. We are here for all the action, and as I mentioned a moment earlier, the Mad Dog will be joining us. For now, I'm taller, I'm less hairier, and I provide intense passion. So, join me as the Brockton Boxers head into the MIAA tournament. Their record 6, 10, and 1, facing off against the Framingham Flyers, the winner of the Bay State Carry Conference. Now, you might be wondering, why are Brockton and Framingham, Framingham does have a losing record. Why are they facing off in the MIAA tournament? How do they qualify? Well, these both, both these teams, they finished first in their conference. They won their leagues. Bay State carries no joke. You have teams like Weymouth and other teams of that sort, that ilk, with great hockey history. And the boxers, for a little bit of a fluke, uh, the New Bedford team uh, was disassembled, uh, but, the league was formed between Brockton, New Bedford, and Durfee. The season was played. Brockton ended up winning the league outright, and they're here tonight. I'll tell you, this Canton Ice House is something else. It's a sight to behold. It's it, it's one of the best venues in the state. I've traveled to Bourne at the Gallo Arena. I've been over to the Pilgrim Arena on the South Shore. There's nothing quite like this ice house. Beautiful snack shack, and we're in the press box. How can you beat that? So join me as Brockton faces off against the Framingham Flyers. And now for the starting lineup. For the visiting team, the Boston, the Brockton Boxers. As the starting lineups are introduced. On defense number six, Zach Sylvia. Zach Sylvia, fine year. Could be the final time this team is introduced, but Brockton is ready for the challenge. Uh, these teams matching up, match up evenly. Uh, we have 15-minute periods, three 15-minute periods, and my AA rules. And here comes the rest of the boxers team as Framingham will be introduced next. The Flyers from Framingham. Framingham, a school about half the size of Brockton. About 2,200 in their student body. Brockton, at least double that. Talking to the athletic director from Framingham earlier today. Paul Shea, and he was telling me that he's struggling to find kids that continue uh, through the hockey program in Framingham. Uh, other interests. Uh, it is an expensive sport. Uh, but he's seen an impact over the years. Nevertheless, they are the winners of the Bay State Carry Division 2017-2018 season. And there's Framingham. As we rise, please rise for the national anthem. Please rise for the playing of our national anthem.
let's lace him up. Framingham is led by their senior goaltender, uh, Alex Moore. He is the captain. Uh, they have a mix. They have a few handful of freshmen, so uh, optimism reigns supreme in Framingham. As far as the Brockton team, uh, many juniors. We get several juniors uh, led by head coach Chris Cunningham. Assistant coach Shane Stan and the JV coach, of course, is Connor Fitzgerald. Framingham is led by coach Will Ortiz. With a record of 5, 11, and 6, that's a little deceiving. Again, you know, the competition that they face during the course of the year. Uh, teams that, at least in history, have excelled and uh, some even gone to the Super 8 tournament and fared well. I do have to tell you, this, this press box is something else, and the energy is palpable as you can hear the crowd. They're already into it. And they drop the puck, and we're underway. Brockton winds it down. Being my first and likely only hockey game to announce this year, uh, I will struggle a little bit. I will let you know that right now. I will struggle a little bit with names, uh, particularly for the Framingham squad. Um, however, I know you'll bear with me. And puck gets sent into the corner. Brockton on the chase. And the puck is moved out. Back down the ice for an icing. So we come down Brockton's way, uh, just under, just over 30 seconds into the period. Filling each other out. Again, two evenly matched teams. Uh, first goal always is important. The draws won by the draws won by Brockton. Look for an attempted breakout, and Framingham winds up, and it's back down the ice for another icing. Again, I was telling you earlier this this uh, this ice house. What a great name, the Canton Ice House. A great venue, and uh, the stands which are below us. Uh, give you quite the uh, quite the view. The old rink uh, along the Milton Canton line uh, is no longer there. I learned that the hard way en route to the ice house. I had never been here before, and I uh, got a little detour. But here we are. As Framingham gains control, back to the point for Brockton to keep the puck in. And again, Framingham winds up. Quick outlet pass with Brockton intercepts and right back in. So filling each other out, getting their legs about them. Nerves definitely a factor. Brockton on the steal. And the puck's played along the boards and out by Framingham. The Flyers, cool little nickname for a, for a school. We, of course, are the boxers. Second to none. As Framingham gains control of the puck. Bat around in the corner. And not out. Flyers keep it in. Brockton gains control. Out to center ice. And back to Framingham. All right, not a lot of skating going on early. Oh, a shot just wide. That puck was ripped over the right shoulder. Framingham gains control. Tries to jam it in from the side. Stopped. Nice defense. Framingham remains. Gains control of the puck. Brockton chasing it in the corner. And not out. 
kept in. And the puck is cleared out. There'll be a face-off in the Framingham zone. And the puck is cleared, framing him on a little bit of a break. Oh, nice save! Got a glove on it. Framing him, keeping the pressure on, give and go. And the puck is taken out. Framing him gains control. A lot of work on the boards early on. Get the juices flowing, get the blood flowing, banging some bodies. Hockey is still a physical game. There's been moves to uh, eliminate fighting, but that, that makes it no less physical. Checking is a key part of the game, and always will be. As the puck is put on net, and it's tied up for a face-off. to the right of goalie Dominic Schappa. Somebody just turned the lights off. But we'll adapt. Another puck can put on net. Oh, the puck is loose. Oh, no goal, no goal. The goal is waved off. The goal. No goal. It was tied up. <laughs> oh, it was an attempted snipe, and he got shot. Dominic with a big save. Oh, nice. The puck looked like it trickled through from our vantage point. It did not. Uh, he does what good, he did what good goalies do and laid on top of that puck and didn't let anybody get in there. So Dominic, final stop. So the face off to the right. He's going to be busy tonight, folks. It's early on. We're four and a half and uh, four and a half minutes into the first period, and he's been peppered. Framingham is definitely taking the pay to Brockton. Oh, and there's a goal through the five hole. And that goal was by number 18, Dylan Carafiello, a senior. And a big goal. We talked about the first goal, always important. And that one trickled through the five hole. Uh, Dominic made some beautiful saves earlier. Uh, couldn't stop that one. So Brockton's down early, one nothing. We are five minutes into the first period. And another shot on net. Framingham is taking to play to Brockton. There's no question about it. Let's see how the lads respond. As I was stating uh, during our opening remarks, this is a preliminary round game. Uh, these two teams, um, with losing records, they did win their they did win their divisions. Oh, and the puck just slides. Shop, I get a piece of that. Another one on net. Oh, he's getting peppered. It's a barrage. And an icing. So I was stating earlier, this is a preliminary round game. You don't see that uh, very often in a sectional. So these two teams are matching up with the honor of playing the number one seed, Wellesley, right here at the Ice House. Two nights here for us. And 
And there we go, Brockton. Moving up the ice, a little bit of pressure put on. And the puck is out. So I was, as I was stating earlier, if they do let him in the ice house, uh, the Mad Dog, that is, um, he will be coming in to save the day. He is currently, currently at Brockton High School for the Division I self-sectional game between your Brockton Boxers and the Durfee Hilltoppers. And yes, he is committed as we get a stoppage in play. And it looks like, uh, looks like one of the doors open. Never leave the door open. Never let, in this case, the cool air out. Or in. Whatever. Which one would it be? Would it be out or in? I don't know. I only have myself to answer to. I'm wondering, I'm wondering what you're thinking as Framingham wins the draw. Back to the point. Controlling the puck. And there was a penalty on the play. And the puck is cleared. The penalty was on Justin Krusen at Schneck. And I've been calling the goaltender the wrong name throughout this entire ordeal, and I apologize. That's Peyton Sylvia. It's not Peyton Sylvia. It's Nathan Petty. Oh, my good Lord. Whew, there's going to be a lot of surgery required. I apologize a thousand times. That would be Nathan Petty. I appreciate you bearing with me tonight because I am doing camera and... I'm commentating the game. We do it all at BCA for the kids, and uh, man, I blew it. So, I owe Nathan Petty a great apology, his family. Uh, I do apologize. Dominic Schiappa is a junior goalie, and he's backup goalie for uh, the Framingham Flyers. So you can't see me, but my face is red. As the puck is cleared, so Nathan Petty, uh, I will talk about him for a minute. He's had an outstanding period. Um, there was one goal that was let in, but man, he has just been, uh, it's been an onslaught of pucks coming at him, and uh, Nathan's done a fantastic job. So Framingham controls the puck. Oof. A lot of tussling going on in front of the net. As Brockton gains control and winds the puck around and down. Framing him on the attack. Wide of Petty. He's been busy. He's been busy this period. Brockton really can't get anything going yet. Puck possession has definitely been in the hands of Framingham. Uh, Fly's moving the puck pretty well. Brockton's holding its own along the boards, but just can't gain any momentum, any control. Puck rolls behind the net. Brockton looking to break out, but Framingham keeps it in. Brockton just looking to clear the puck, and they do. And just a scrum in the middle. Not much room, not much real estate there. Framingham's done a nice job of closing things off and not letting Brockton on the attack. As it's dumped in again. Here comes Brockton on the break. Down the left wing and into the corner. 
Good battle along the boards. Excellent work. Brock, did you? Oh, it's a save. That was saved by Captain Alex Moore. Puck is dumped in. And Nathan Petty with the cover up. Yes, Nathan Petty. And uh, my last apology. Don't want to draw any more attention to it, but I am. Uh, Petty played a fine period. We're 10 minutes in, and Framingham is up 1 0. Brockton's hanging in there. Uh, a lot of shots, I think. Brockton has their feet about them a little bit. We've seen a couple of uh, a couple of plays in the offensive zone as they dump the puck in. And another chase for it. A shot! Brockton looks like they have their legs about them now and much better second half of this first period for, for the boxers. As Framingham winds it up. Brockton not waiting on the attack. Good aggressive forechecking. And the puck is tied up. Good offensive movement by Brockton, I'd say within the last five minutes. See Coach Cunningham over over there talking to his team. And uh, poised as always, the coaches. Face-off draw one by Framingham. Good hit along the boards. Brockton's play along the boards has been very good so far. And a shot and a save. Not much of a shot, but you know what? They're uh, they're keeping the pressure in the offensive zone, and that's going to bode well for the for the next couple of periods. If they can keep this attack up. Oh, and framing him on the rush to the left. Good defense. Good defense by the Broxers. And the puck is out. Brought back in. Play on as the puck is dumped in to the flyer zone. Wheeled around, but not out. Brockton keeps it in, but the Flyers regain control. Along the boards. Ooh, some good physical play going on. Brockton's laying the lumber. We like that. We like that. That'll bode well for the as the game progresses. As the Flyers attempt to break out. And no icing called. Ooh, a little bit of a surprise. That looked like a two-liner. Uh, And Brockton will wheel it out. Brockton keeps it in. Shot blocked by the defense. And Framingham will wheel it out, but Brockton, oh. Here we go, Framingham on the rush. A shot, oh, what a save by Petty. Nice blocker save. Little Pete Peters-esque. Brockton looking to wind it up, but Framingham has their four checkers on attack, and it will go down to the goalie, no icing. Play on. We are just under two minutes left in the period. One nothing, Framingham. On top, Framingham with the breakout. Shot saved by Petty. Puck kept in. Good battle for the puck. Remains in the Brockton zone. Line change, so Brockton have the opportunity to clear it up, but they can't. And it's put on net again. Petty, there's that name again. Stops the puck, and we've got a stoppage in play with one minute, 15 seconds left in the period. How 
I'll tell you, if you like rock and roll, the hockey game's the place to be. They know how to play the rock and roll in between, in between action. Shot is blocked. Ooh, Brockton so close for a breakout. There's a scrum along the boards. Who wants it? Who's got it? And Framingham keeps it in. Good work along the boards by both teams, but Framingham comes out. Brockton gains control, flips it. And they get it out of the zone. Framingham will wind back up. Thirty seconds left in the period. I don't know how often you hear one minute, but thirty seconds left. Brockton applying the pressure. Good four check. But the Flyers come away with it. Looking for one last rush before the end of the period. Brockton just slaps it back in. The play goes on. Brockton keeps it in. Oh, Flyers break it out. And one last rush. Brockton stonewalls. And that'll do it for the end of the first period. So after the end of the first period, the Framingham Flyers are up 1-0. Brockton has done a nice job of settling the game down. Had some good offensive zone attacks uh, halfway through the first period. Uh, I'll tell you, Petty, Nathan Petty, the goalie for Brockton, has uh, kept us a 1 0 game. Uh, Framingham had some quality shots, but Petty just was up for the challenge and he did a heck of a job. So after one period, the Framingham Flyers won. Your Brockton Broxers, nothing. Enjoy this message, and we'll be back with our second period, and maybe even the Mad Dog. Hey Gabby, how you doing? How was the play date and sleepover? Dad, it was great. Awesome. Okay, I'm on my way. Hey guys, what are you doing? We're going swimming! We're going biking! Yeah! I'll see you in a little bit, guys. I love you. Hi babe, how was school today? Hi Dad, it was great. Okay honey, I'll be home soon. Remember, you're never too far away from your kids to be a dad. Reach out and take a second to check in, because sometimes the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. All right, we're back for the second period. Amateur hour is over. Ladies and gentlemen, none other than Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, hockey fans of all ages, this is the Canton Ice House. And tonight it plays host to the preliminary round matchup of the MIAA South Sectional Playoffs between the Fl Framingham Flyers and your Brockton Boxers. I am Mad Dog Matt Nelson as we get underway in period number two. Framingham is up one to nothing coming into the second period and they are wearing their home white jerseys with blue trim. The Boxers in there visiting black jerseys, white trim around the red numbers. This is number 27, Patrick Watton of the Flyers. Beautiful facility here in Canton as now Jalen Bridges carries it in. He's got an opening, trying to go wrap around. Instead, throws it onto the slot and Aiton's shot goes wide. Now it's number 14, Nate Nichols, the junior forward for the Flyers. Bridges able to poke it off of his stick. Now Crookshank fighting for it on the glass and he sends it off of the boards. Took a funny bounce where it found Peter Sylvia who now heads to the bench for a change. A matchup of the two lowest seeds to see who gets the right to go to the first round of the MIAA playoffs. The Flyers coming in at six, nine, and one. And the Boxers, we don't even want to talk about their record. Thirteen forty-three left in the second period. It's one nothing Framingham. The arm stayed down as one of the boxers got tripped up. Now 
Eaton fighting for it. And Nick Landry, he sends it out to the high slot, a shot, and it goes wide off of the stick of Zach Sylvia. Sylvia chasing it down, unable to keep it in and out the foot race. And number 23, Mike Tersoni is gonna pull up and Sylvia long pass for Nick Landry. Landry's pass now intercepted, Sylvia able to recover. And Zach Sylvia into the Framingham zone. Make excellent move, his shot and a glove save by the Framingham netminder. And we have a stoppage with 12.59 to go in the second period. Alex Moore, the Framingham goalie for the boxers. It is Nathan Petty who was benched for the last third of the season in favor of Ryan Spano getting the last start of the year. A game in which the boxers lost heading into the postseason. Brockton did not expect to be here because of the dissolvance of the Big Three division. New Bedford folding their hockey program about time, if you ask some of us. But the MIAA ruling that because the New Bedford program folded so late in the year, Brockton didn't have a realistic chance to join another division and therefore win that other division. So Brockton beat Durfee twice and were awarded a spot in the MIAA South Sectional Playoffs. Now it's Framingham keeping it in, Ryan Innes. Brockton finally able to clear out into the neutral zone and we're gonna have a penalty on Framingham. An interference call as Brendan Palermo got tripped up in the neutral zone. And it's gonna be the Framingham captain headed to the box for a trip that's number 18, Dylan Carafiello. Aiden Bridges, Sylvia, Sylvia and Crookshank on the power play. We have a stoppage on the ice. Bridges with possession off the faceoff. Back to the blue line and now back to Bridges. Bridges over to Zach Sylvia. Sylvia pass intercepted but tripped up and Brockton able to keep it in, regain possession. And now Aiden gets decked at the blue line. Framingham ringing it around the boards. Aiden over to Zach Sylvia. His shot goes wide. Peyton Sylvia now to Bridges. Bridges back to Peyton. Peyton out to the blue line for Zach. Zach whiffs on the shot. Able to regain composure. Makes a nice move to go to the, to the net. A backhanded shot and a save by Alex Moore. One fourteen left on the penalty to Carafiello. 11 and a half to go in the second period. Brockton trying to even this one up. Zach Sylvia on the blue line. Onsides is ruled. Now Aiton to Sylvia. Sylvia tees one up, looking for a deflection from Peyton. Sylvia doesn't get it. Now Bridges recovering behind the net. One minute left on the power play. The original five skaters still out. Aiton shot, stick saved by Moore, and he covers for the faceoff. Mad drive, much better pressure uh, from the first first half of the first period. Uh, they were very shaky, uh, the boxes were, but they've got their legs and they've been putting the pressure on. Aiden to Zach Sylvia now. Sylvia down to Bridges. Bridges across the green and unable to recover his crook shake and Framingham clears it all the way down the river. Stopped by Petty. Now Zach Sylvia for the boxers, he is a zone time hawk for the boxers. Of the 45 minute games, he's averaging close to 28. Now Crookshank behind the net, stopping, popping over to Peyton Sylvia. Sylvia's backhanded pass 
looking for a charging Bridges doesn't connect and Framingham able to carry into the Brockton zone Nate Nichols killing out the power play Carafiello out of the box strong power play couple of shots now Peyton Sylvia looking to drive the net over to Bridges his shot and an excellent save by Moore as Bridges looks up to the Raptors 10.03 to go in the second, 1-0 Framingham. Brockton with some serious momentum. Now it's Mike Tersoni. Birmingham can't Gain enough composure at the blue line. It's offsides against the boxers. Nathan El Shami was the boxer that inadvertently touched it. Now Birmingham losing it in the neutral zone. Now a slap shot, or a fake slap shot for Mike Tersoni. And back out into the neutral zone. Brockton recovering on the dump in now Nick Landry nice move to create some space but he lost it on the back end now two on one for Framingham a shot and a goal top shelf for Mike Tersoni the junior forward and Framingham's up two goals with 925 to go in the second A bad turnover for Nick Landry in the neutral zone led to the two on one. And Tersoni faked it out. Nathan Petty went top shelf, made the water bottle pop. And Framingham's up by a pair. The Flyers dumping in. That's Tersoni unassisted. Although he was assisted by Nick Landry in the neutral zone. Now shot blocker saved by Petty. This one high off the glass. Battle ensues, Framingham comes away with it. Now it's number seven, Anthony James, the senior forward. James getting it to the end boards before Palermo takes it for Brockton. They dump in for Crookshank, or rather that's Ben Martin. And Framingham taking over again. This period started so well for the boxers. And now Anthony James pressuring again. His shot under the pad of Petty, almost finding its way to the back of the net. Eight twenty-five to go in the second. It's two to nothing. Framingham looking to add to that. Here are the Flyers. And with clean possession in the boxers zone. Adam Flynn, a postseason call up for the boxers, seeing his first minutes of the season here in the playoffs. Shot looking for a deflection off the stick of Nate James and sent all the way down the river, icing waved off. Brockton trying to create some pressure out in front. Framingham able to pick up the puck in the slot. Now it's number 15, that's CJ Brown. His shot going wide. Seven and a half to go. We are halfway through the second period. Someone lost a glove. And it is one of the Flyers. Now dumping it in is number 20, Jared Schimmelman. Brockton very tentative with their passes in the later stages of this second half, uh, second period, excuse me. Now Peter Sylvia pressuring 
He loses an edge. Now Crookshank tipping it over to Zach Sylvia. Sylvia gets slashed. The arms stay down. Now Nathan El Shami. Shami makes a nice move trying to get to the front of the net. And it is deflected by Ryan Wadden to the corner. The shot and into the glove of Alex Moore. 6.39 to go in the second. And Brockton has been the case most of the year. Trying to claw their way back from multiple goals to extend their season. Framingham winning the faceoff. It's Jack Seda. Shot goes wide off the stick of Tersoni. Brockton dumping in as Kirkshank goes hard into the bench. Jack Handy around the boards. Able to recover in Framingham on yet another rush. A slap shot deflected and Petty was straight fooled on that one. Petty's problem in the last game was rebound control. Tonight it looks to be positioning. Oh, oh. Through the legs of Landry. You're gonna say Landry was off sides. He was on the blue line. Dante Mazzara, the freshman around the boards. It's taken there by Dylan Carafiello. Zach Sylvia threw a couple of legs before Framingham's able to clear it out into the neutral zone. Five minutes to go into the second period. And it's 2-0 Framingham over the boxers. Massaro creating separation. And now it's Zach Sylvia trying to find some open space. Zach Sylvia carrying in. Finding that space by the face off thought. Elbowing off his man. His back ended shot off the stick of Moore. And Framingham able to recover. And now it's a two on one for the Flyers. Number 22 passes over to number seven. Is Sean the slot and a stick save by Petty. That was Anthony James. James and Evan Dunlop. The two flyers on the two one on one. 4.27 to go in the second. Brockton's defense is just hoping to escape the second period without getting another goal again. Frank Aiden losing the faceoff. It's taken by Dunlop. Dunlop shot off the glove and rebound control. An issue here for Petty. A loose puck in the crease and the officials blow the play dead. I'm gonna kick Bridges out of the face off dot. Quick shot, uh, pad save by Petty. And now Jalen Bridges off to Peter Sylvia. Nate James fighting for it. A pile up on the half boards. And Peyton Sylvia has it. Sylvia with three games left in the season switch from top line wing to defense. Has adjusted fairly well. Offsides is going to be whistled against the Flyers, and the faceoff will come all the way down 
to the Framingham end of the river. First playoff game the Brockton's had in about five years that was not down at Gallo Ice Arena in Bourne. This is pretty good substitute. Excellent facilities here in Canton. A shot, blocker, save, rebound to the half boards on the far side for Petty. Stick save deflected to the end boards for Justin Crookshank. Crookshank turning it over to number 12, PJ Conzo, who can't gain clean possession, but Framingham in. A glove save by Petty, and it deflects all the way down back to the Framingham end of the ice. Now Birmingham, a little bit too much mustard for Frank Ayton. Aiden did deflect the puck on net, and it's a save for Moore as a shoving match ensues. And we're gonna have offsetting minor penalties. And we're gonna send two players to the box for Framingham. It's gonna be number 20, Jared Schimmelman. And for the boxers, perhaps the biggest loss, Frank Aiden. Aiden trying to plead his case, the ref hearing none of it. Aiden drove the net, was shoved by Schimmelman. And Aiden not happy with the call. Offsetting penalties, no loss in manpower. It's gonna be slashed to Schimmelman. And Aiden's penalty is going to go for unsportsmanlike conduct. Bridges had an opportunity out front. Now it's a three on two for the Flyers. Number 18 dumping back to number 19 who doesn't get a shot off his backhanded opportunity now. Broken up by El Shami and Petty was way out of position on the other side of the net for the shot by BK Amini. Two seventeen to go. In the second, it's two nothing. Framing him over the boxers. Brockton winning the face off, and now Nick Landry deflecting it. He's looking for an interference call. Not going to get it. Now Birmingham couldn't deflect it away from Nate James and now out in front, loose! And Framingham had an empty net if they had a player there. They're shot off the post from the neutral zone and the boxers are floundering. Jack Sylvia to Crookshank who can't grab it and it goes to Petty, who makes a glove stop and covers for the faceoff. 127 to go in a period that started so well for the boxers. And since about the eight and a half minute mark, it has been all flyers. The boxers' defense has completely collapsed. We're talking monumental collapse, similar to the Atlanta Falcons in the Super Bowl. Shot right off the faceoff for number 12, PJ Conzo. Sticked away by Petty, and now boxers have a two, three on two. It's Brid, uh, Peyton Sylvia losing it and deflected to Crookshank, who's tripped up in the neutral zone. Now a two on one the other way. Bridges gets back. A two on two, a spin around shot, pad save by Petty. Rebound to the end. Boards, 105 to go in the period. One in the second period. 
We're going to have a call against Zach Sylvia here. And Sylvia is going to go for a trip. Are they going to get the flyer for it? It's going to go against Mike Tersoni, the last goal scorer for Framingham. The boxers with 51.8 in this period of a power play north of a minute to start the second should they be held scoreless. It's about six seconds before Aiden's freed from the box at the next stop and Framingham winning the faceoff, dumping it all the way down. Next stoppage, Aiden and Schimmelman out of the box. 37 left in the period as Bridges can't hold on to it. Now Peyton Sylvia trying to poke it into the Framingham end of the ice. Broken up by Ben Humphreys. And the boxers have it. 15 left in the period. This one out into the neutral zone. Brockton looking for a clean entry with 10 seconds to go. Zach Sylvia will just dump it in. Sylvia has it. The buzzer sounds and the second period has come to an end. Framingham doubling their goal total. The lone goal in this period going to Mike Tersoni on a two on one that completely faked out Nathan Petty. At the end of the second period, it's two nothing. The Framingham Flyers lead the Brockton Boxers in a preliminary round matchup of the MIAA South Sectional Playoffs. The winner of this game has the right to go on and face Weymouth in the first round, the top seeded Wildcats awaiting the winner of this game. It's two nothing Framingham over Brockton at the end of the second. We're gonna step aside, take a short break and bring you third period action right after this. It's not always easy being a dad. Do you have panda asthma too? Does that run in the family? This is the home of the most priceless Kung Fu artifacts. But when you make an effort. Dad, we're not supposed to touch anything. Oh, sorry. Go along, son. It's always worth it. Whoa, master. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's <laughs> life. Take time to be a dad today. I am gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Call 877-4DAD411 or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, hockey fans of all ages, welcome back into the Can Ice House for third period action between your Brockton Boxers and the Framingham Flyers. Brockton starting this third period with one minute and nine seconds of power play time. The latter half of the second period, ugly for Boxer fans as Framingham potted a goal and just completely dominated, had a few more opportunities. Now this one deflected, a shot and a goal! Crookshank out in front and Brockton's on the board! It's gonna be Jalen Bridges who found the loose garbage out in front. And he picked it up and put it home for the boxers. It's two to one framing him with 14.40. That is the quickest goal that the Boxers have scored in a period this season, just 20 seconds in. And that ends the power play. It's 45 seconds on the penalty left to Tersoni has to fill out the entire two minutes. But that is a huge momentum boost for the Boxers. And this one loose and the Birmingham goal, they answer 17 seconds later. Number nine, Will Trishetta. And they gave a little gesture to the Brockton fan base. Two goals in the first 37 seconds of this period. And it's three to one Framingham. Framingham answering again 17 seconds after the boxers scored 20 seconds into the third period. The Landry line on the ice, they have had some high energy at points this season. Brockton needs to answer. If they want to now claw their way back from two goals, two goals is the worst lead in all of sports. Yeah. 
Landry shoved off the puck by Brian Watton. Al Birmingham, who went from defense up to forward, now a shot. Hits a body out in front, loose, and another boxer goal! They score just a short 26 seconds after Framingham. And buckle up, folks, it's 3-2 Framingham. This period is wild. Landry out in front this time. We're a minute and three seconds into the third period and we've already got three goals scored. Aiden winning the face off back to Peyton Sylvia, the offensive minded defenseman sending it in. Let's recap, Brockton opening the scoring of the third period, 20 seconds in at 1440. 14-23, 17 seconds after the boxers got on the board. Framingham answered and went up three to one. 13-57 left in the period, 26 seconds after Framingham answered. Brockton put one back home and now Zach Sylvia with space in the middle of the ice. Sylvia getting his way through a couple of flyers. Thinking wraparound goes to the end boards and Framingham takes possession. Jalen Bridges, as the PA announcer now has some catching up to do. So it's Bridges from Aiton. Now Brock in, back in and shot, a penalty upcoming, Sylvia was hooked. Boxers headed back to the power play, 12.41 to go in the third period. Nick Landry with the second Nick boxer Landry. goal. Assisted by number four. He was assisted by Nathan L. Shami. And Justin Crookshank, I'm gonna credit the second goal. There is no 68 on the boxer roster. The boxer's on a power play, slap shot, loose in front, and now it's taken by Carafiello. This is number nine, Will Trishita, dumping it in. Sylvia edged off the puck and one of the Flyers falling on Sylvia. Sylvia shakes out the cobwebs. Peyton Sylvia with a nice move and then loses possession and Framingham sends it all the way down the river. 1.15 left on the power play for Brockton. 11.54 left in the period. It's 3-2 Framingham. There's been three goals already in this third period. Peyton Sylvia looking to add to that total. Loses it to Ryan Watton, but takes down one of the Flyers. Zach Sylvia, an athletic move to keep it in at the blue line. Now Zach Sylvia looking for Aiden, instead loses it, regains composure. Now sends it out to Aiden, he keeps it on his backhand at the blue line, back to Zach Sylvia. Zach Sylvia over to Aiden, Aiden throwing it on net, blocker saying it goes right back to Zach Sylvia who backhands it over to Aiden. The two leading scores for the boxers this season now. Jalen Bridges down low into the slot. His backhanded shot deflected off the skate and wide. Framingham thinking dump out instead. Zach Sylvia gets in the way, charging the net, sending it out in front as Brockton calling for a penalty. And this one sent all the way down. 12 seconds now, 10 on the power play. Aiden for one last rush. Frank Aiden, the leading goal scorer for the boxers. Out for Peter Sylvia who couldn't connect on the shot, thinking one-timer. And now in the slot, we're gonna have a penalty on the boxers now. And there is a boxer down. 
Moore to the bench for the extra attacker as Brocken touches up. Whew. Deep breaths all around as Aiden headed to the box yet again and he is not happy. It's going to be Frank Aiden for elbowing a minor penalty. Two minutes in the box for him. Boxers unsuccessful on their last power play attempts in framing him. Now with an opportunity, a shot. This one sent oh. high up and it gets stuck on the air conditioning duct. And someone is going to have to get a ladder. To get that one down, it's stuck dead center of the air conditioning duct center ice. Play the lottery tonight. How many chances do you think you'll see that happen in a lifetime? Pat save, swing and a miss for Zach Sylvia now. Sending it out to the blue line where it's taken by Ryan Ennis. Ennis shot deflected off of the leg of PJ Conzo. Now Ennis over to Tersoni, a shot and a pad save. A minute and a half on the power play for Framingham. El Shami trying to clear. Unsuccessful Framingham resetting up their offensive attack. Ennis over to Tersoni. Now down to number nine. A high shot loose and a goal! It bounced around number nine. Touched it. That's Will Trichetta. Be interesting to see who they credit that one to. Number 14 in there as well. That's Nick Nichols. And scoring on the power play of the Framingham Flyers, it's 4-2 with 9.37 to go in the third period. So Aiden has had a couple of costly penalties. Brockton back down by two and they have to answer if they want to extend their season. P.J. Conzo credited with that one. And it was assisted by Nichols and by Trichetta. 9-10 to go in the period is Framingham again in and another goal for Framingham. It was loose so far. We have a shoving match. We might see a penalty. El Shami is down and Framingham just Rob Gronkowski him, diving into the back of the head of El Shami. That should be a major penalty. And El Shami's gonna go to the box. El Shami joining Frank Aiden in the box. And it's gonna be offsetting Number 17, Ben Humphrey, set it to the box as well. He should be in there for five. You guys remember the Patriots game against the Buffalo Bills in Buffalo when Rob Gronkowski got up and body slammed one of the Bills after the play was dead. That's what just happened from Humphreys to El Shami. And the fact that El Shami is getting a penalty here is just Ridiculous. If you're going to give him anything at all, it should be five to Humphreys and two to El Shamay. It will be five on five. At least for now, till the referees sort it out. It's 4 to 2, 9 oh, 3 to go. Jalen Bridges winning the faceoff. Back to Zach Sylvia, who spins with it, trying to create separation between Brian Tosi. Interesting to see what the penalties are called as this one's getting fairly chippy. No penalties listed on the board because they're offsetting. 
Yeah, coming up with a block is Bridges. He's got the puck now off a pass from Peter Sylvia. Jalen Bridges now centering a line between Ben Martin and Peter Sylvia. Now three on two off ice for the Flyers. A shot from Patrick Watton. And that's blocked away. It's a flyer down. He gets donkey kicked from Zach Sylvia. Cross checking the call. Humphreys called a minor penalty for unsportsmanlike. Peter Sylvia getting assaulted by the stick of Tersoni. Laid off sides waved off as Brockton tagged up. Uh, 7.45 to go in the third. Tersoni looking to add to his total. Driving the net, his shot. And it was loose for just a moment. Now Tersoni has it again. He tees one up and sends one that zinged high and wide. But Framingham able to keep it in. What even strength, but Framingham looks like they're on a penal, uh, power play. This is BK Amini sending it around the boards for Tersoni. And now number 12, PJ Conzo. And Birmingham sending it back to Peyton Sylvia. Aiden will come out of the box at the next stoppage. This one high off glass for Dante Massaro. Now broken up. Nick Landry had an opportunity. Landry, the last goal scorer. As this one picking up in physicality is number 16 lost it. That's Nate James. Box is trying to start a rush here. Zach Sylvia in. A shot, and it goes wide, still loose. Rockton trying to recover. Framingham has it. The last goal for Framingham scored by Ben Humphreys. It's 5-2. Framingham on top of Brockton with six minutes to go. Presumably in Brockton's season. A senior season for Justin Crookshank, Zach Sylvia. As well as Frank Ayton. You're not losing much, just your two top scorers in your number two defenseman. Only three seniors on this team for the boxers. All year it's been a heated race for a top scorer between Sylvia and Aiden. Both had around 12 goals and 10 assists. Five and a half to go now in this one. Two on one developing for the Flyers, broken up nicely by Crookshank. His pass for Massaro doesn't connect. Aiden waiting patiently in the box, trying to get out. He's decked at the offensive blue line is Peter Sylvia. He's held by the flyer number 16, Nate James. And James comes to the bench all fired up. Rather, that was number 18, Dylan Carafiello. This one deflected all the way down off of one of the Framingham sticks. Brockton changes out. Brockton hoping for a stoppage to get their leading scorer out of the box. More stopping this one, leaving it for Ryan Innes. Kirkshank launches one into the glove of Moore. A stoppage and Aiden El Shami and Humphreys have all been freed. Aiden with a two minute penalty with Nine minutes to go. He spent the last five in the box because you got to wait for a stoppage, and there was a long run of continuous play. Now, Frank Aiton back on the ice. He edges number nine, Trishita, off the puck. Now, Jalen Bridges behind Alex Moore. 
Sent off to the blue line for Sylvia, who whiffs on the shot. Yeah, that's Peyton Sylvia now down low. Justin Crookshank trying to get there in time, does not. Now Trishita into the Brockton zone. Trishita out in front for Tersoni, and that one didn't connect. Now popping up, brought down by Peyton Sylvia, who is hit up high, no call. Sent off the glass from Patrick Watton, the junior defenseman. And Brockton's hope is fading fast. Three and a half to go. They're down by three goals, five to two. Brockton suffering a heartbreaking loss in last year's first round matchup of the MIAA South Sectional Playoff against, at that time, the defending state champion, Franklin Panthers. A game in which Brockton tied it up late. Actually had a lead at one point and then fell three to two. Zach Sylvia can't get it around Evan Dunlop. Dunlop now in. His shot deflected off of Sylvia's stick and chipped into the awaiting arms of Nate James. Brockton sending it all the way down. It will go for an icing. 2.46 to go in the third. It's 5-2. to two. Framingham on top in the 6-9 and 1. Flyers looking to move on. Where this game has the right to face the Wellesley Raiders. And Brockton's gonna call their timeout. One would think they're gonna pull Nathan Petty at some point soon. Because this is the playoffs and there's nothing to lose. The five, nine, and six Framingham Flyers, six, 13, and one Brockton Boxers. There's 2.46 to go in the third period. Petty is not in the boxer huddle, but standing near the open door. Wellesley coming in at 15-2-2. Two two. They are the number one seed in this tournament after falling in the Super 8 play-in game. Both of these teams will, that's essentially a home game. You got Framingham and Wellesley. There's only one town in between them and it's Natick. Winner of that game will face either Severian or Mansfield. Number 19 for the Flyers. That's Brian Tosi. Now PJ Conzo. All the way in Aiden will grab it on the half board. She's elbowed up high, no call. Leaving it behind, and the box is starting to finish their checks. This one deflected wide, but Aiden able to grab it out to Sylvie at the blue line. Sylvia throwing it on net, stick save more. Crookshank now leaves it behind and Framingham able to take it. We have a boxer down in front of the Framingham net. There's an empty net for Brockton with 152 to play. Peter Sylvia, Peyton Sylvia, Aiden Crookshank, Zach Sylvia, the boxers on the ice. Sylvia now from the faceoff dot, his shot, stick save. Aiden on the other side, can't get a shot off. Now loose Crookshank down low, Crookshank throwing it in. And Peter Sylvia can't get a rebound shot attempt. Now 120 to go, Brockton down by three. Crookshank, his shot, glove save, still loose. And Aiden able to let it go for Zach Sylvia. Someone lost their twig. Zach Sylvia in the high slot. His shot deflected from Jalen Bridges down low. We have a shunning match and we have a stoppage as Peyton Sylvia was put in a headlock. And they're going to call Peyton Sylvia for this? Offsetting again. It's going to be Evan Dunlop for wrestling. And Bridges for God only knows what. 
Uh, Peyton Sylvia in the box, 101 to go. It'll remain a six on five, but Brockton just lost Peyton Sylvia, who is one of their top scorers. And Chris Cunningham is rightfully looking for an explanation of what their power play defenseman is doing in the box. Roughing the official call. I don't know how you give a penalty to a guy who was put in a headlock. One minute remaining in the third period. One minute to go in the third period. Six on five, empty net for Brock and Peyton Sylvie in the box. This one is pretty much over. Zach Sylvia with it. His shot deflected by the Flyers, and they get tripped up. The arms stay down, and it's a two on oh, and a goal for CJ Brown with 45.3 to go, and that'll wrap it up six to two. The Framingham Flyers are gonna move on to face the Wellesley Raiders. And the senior campaigns of Zach Sylvia, Frank Aiden, and Justin Crookshank come to a heartbreaking end here at the Canton Ice House. Petty has gone back to his crease. Forty seconds to go. It is six to two. Framingham has dominated Brockton, with the exception of about seven minutes to start the second period, and give or take three minutes to start the third period. It is fifteen seconds to go, and Brockton has accepted defeat. Framingham fans singing na 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 as the buzzer sounds. And the Flyers have defeated the Brockton Boxers. They will move on to face the Wellesley Raiders, the top seed in this South Sectional Tournament. The Boxers' hearts break as they will now lose their two top scorers and their number two defenseman to graduation and the boxers are not happy. They had a real thought that they could come in here and upset the higher seated Flyers who came in at five, nine and six. Brockton with the same number of wins but more losses than overtime losses. So the team shake hands at center ice. The game well played for the Framingham Flyers. Six to two, your final score. Handful of Framingham goals in no particular order. Conzo with a couple, Humphreys, Tarsoni with a couple for the boxers. It's Jalen Bridges and Nick Landry for the two boxer goals and their campaign comes to an end. And for the boxers, I guess a tournament berth not earned. You gotta enjoy it anyway because they didn't expect to be here after losing to Norwood. They thought they were mathematically eliminated after that game. The MIAA came in with a ruling that, well, you beat Durfee twice and you didn't join another division, so you're in. So this game really, a little bit of icing on the cake for the senior campaigns of Zach Sylvia, Frank Aiden, and Justin Crookshank, who have had phenomenal careers at Brockton High School. Six to two, your final score. The Framingham Flyers move on to face the Wellesley Raiders, defeating the Brockton Broxers in the only preliminary round matchup of the MIAA South Sectional Tournament. From Renner PCA Sports, our cameraman, Jumpin' Jay Miller. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we'll see you next season.